Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back in again with some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero news and updates here on the channel for an official translation of the latest. V jump scans. Big shout outs to DBS Hype for providing the scans, as well as Shonen Games for the type set on this and Ryu for translations. Uh, they are the goats. They never have to do this, but it's just really nice of them, you know, to get all these scans out there publicly. And, you know, nobody got to pay for it or anything. They ain't locking it behind some like Patreon or whatever, which I really, really appreciate that. They just do this for the community. So uh, definitely go check them out. I'll link them uh, all down below and everything. I'm so excited to be getting into it. Uh, we kind of did our bootleg translations, which those are a lot of fun. You know, they're hilarious, but uh, I don't understand jack shit on those. OK, <laughs> a lot of the time they're really, really bad. And um, they'll give you kind of a good idea of, you know, some things. But for the most part, uh, some stuff could be misleading. And uh, it's happened before in the past. Let me just say I've experienced with the bootleg translations and there are things that get my hopes up and it ends up not being actually true because the translations were so bad. So let's jump straight on into it. Ooh, let's go. So uh, I saw a lot of people for whatever reason uh, yesterday saying that the theme of this was fusions. Obviously, you know, Dragon Ball fans can't read, right? So this massive text right here just went unnoticed where it says new generation Saiyans. That's the theme. Okay, it's not fusions. They're showing fusions at the very bottom here, but uh, that doesn't mean that that's, that's, that's the whole thing. Okay, it's supposed to be a focus on the younger new generation of Saiyan characters. Rest in peace, Kaba. He's for whatever reason, you know, is dead right now. So let's just get into it. Uh, it says right here, Kid Trunks. Okay, you have his base form that can transform into Super Saiyan, which we knew. Uh, we did go over this. He does have Finish Buster. That's, you know, kind of one of his uh, OG attacks or whatever. Uh, his description is a character with high firepower specials and key attacks. Initiate a one-sided onslaught of long-ranged attacks on your enemies. One-sided. Okay. Uh, the stubborn young man, uh, as it says in the corner, rush down foes with your key blast. So he's just going to be, uh, I guess, more key blast oriented. I feel like a lot of these characters are from kind of the first glance that I saw on it or whatever. Uh, age and gender are irrelevant in Saiyan battles. Promising rookies and female warriors make a grand entrance in this new entry. Double entrance. All right, let's go. Uh, again, typeset from Shonen Games and translations from Ryu. Link them down below. Go check them out. Go uh, support them and follow them. Goten's attack is just called Assault. I think that's what it was called in previous games. Uh, I called it usually like Charge in uh, some of the previous games. Or Goten. Legit, I think in one game or something, some game or somewhere, it was literally called Goten Attack <laughs> or Goten's Attack. That's it, which is hilarious. He did this in the tournament, I think, versus uh, Kid Trunks whenever they were fighting or whatever. Um, he, he did a headbutt to him. The first time, and then the second time he tried to do it, uh, Trunks, I think, transformed and dodged him. I, th I could be wrong about that. Uh, he's a he's great at close range fights. Transforming into a Super Saiyan will power up all your attacks. I mean, yeah, we kind of knew that. A close combat specialist. Okay, so Trunks will be uh, more, I guess, long ranged and key blast oriented, while Goten is going to be close combat. So it's kind of like. Uh, Goku and Vegeta, what they stated for those characters when they were first revealed in the scans. Uh, Goku was also close range, more melee combat based. Uh, and then uh, Vegeta was more key blast oriented, long range. So makes sense, right? You know, they would have to do that for these characters as well. The playful boy. For whatever reason, the translation <laughs> on the bootleg translation called him a naughty boy. He was a, he's a naughty boy, y'all. <laughs> Got to a little bit of a naughty boy. Uh, the female warriors from Universe 6 make a sparking first appearance. Um, I think this was um, not mistrans, but like the translation on this part right here uh, from Bootleg uh, said that these were the first female warriors to make their appearance. Uh, female Saiyans to make their appearance in, uh, I guess, like sparking or whatever, uh, which obviously that wasn't true. Um, Fasha was, I, I think, the first in... No, 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 not, not, not the only one because, you know, we count, we count Pan as well, but... Uh, if you want to count a pure-blooded, you know, full, full-blooded full Saiyan, then Fasha would have been the first one. But, yeah, this is way better translation. They're just saying Universe 6 female warriors in, in the Sparking series. 
They first appeared in Dragon Ball Super similar to the anime. They possessed spirit and power that could overwhelm the male fighters. A timid girl, this is for Kale, uh, that adores Caulifla, confirmed, right? Confirmed, okay? She specializes in long-ranged attacks, okay? Once she, be, once she transforms, she becomes a formidable foe with great offense and defense, okay? So she is, just like Kid Trunks, uh, gonna be more long-ranged, I guess. Uh, probably gonna be more key blast oriented but when she transforms she's gonna be uh both offensive defensive probably low speed usually they would have to balance it out like that um if i recall correctly in xenoverse 2 her uh super saiyan 2 version or whatever is more uh she, she's not she's not super fast she's a little bit bulky and like heavy hitting she's you know she's like you know broly and stuff so this is <laughs> in in the bootleg translations that called it resist Brast. <laughs> this is just resist blast, which makes sense. This is what she used. Um, she tried to attack Goku, if I recall correctly, while Cauliflower and Goku were fighting. She was like, oh, let me help you. And then Goku was like, hey, can you like butt out? And then she got super salty about it. And then she transformed with Berserk and beat his ass. Um, but yeah, I pointed this out. And I think a lot of other people noticed this as well. Um, her hair color on this one is a little bit more it's more yellow more gold okay and i saw some people trying to be weird about it and be like it's just bad quality scan or whatever i'm like boy <laughs> like look at kefla this is the, this is part of the same exact scan and kefla obviously has green hair okay she obviously does not this is like more of a gold yellow it's, it's a lot closer to what Caulifla has, okay? It's not exact, all right? This one, you know, regular Super Saiyan has usually got like a more orangish kind of gold, while this one, you can definitely see it's got a little bit of green, like it's like a little yellow green, okay? Um, this could be just regular Super Saiyan Kale. For whatever reason, whenever she, f I think, first transformed into um, just regular Super Saiyan in the anime, her hair color was a lot more yellow, yellow green. And then after she like, I guess, cor not corrupted, but berserk controlled it, it became more of a greenish. And when she's in, I mean, what they call Super Saiyan 2, it's definitely just like pure green or whatever. That's why Kefla has green hair, okay? So it could be that, or it could just be the stage's lighting, okay? Um, obviously, when it comes to certain stages, uh, this could be like more afternoon-ish tournament because this is definitely the the world tournament or whatever. So the sun glare and like just like the sun's lighting could make it become more of an orange. I wouldn't, you know, get too worked up about it just because I saw people saying, oh, it's inaccurate. You know, it's not, you know, on point to how the source is where she's got green hair or whatever. Guys, don't worry about it. It could just be like a color swap, right? Maybe. I doubt that, but... um. Maybe that's just like one of the several different transformations she's she's going to have, right? Uh, but her base form looks fantastic with the resist. They made this look way better in this game than in in Dragon Ball Super. Obviously, whenever it was in Dragon Ball Super, the the art style and everything did not look all that great. Okay, let's move on to uh, Cauliflower here. Uh, she's seen as a leader to her gang of delinquent Saiyans. Her abilities were already impeccable in her normal state. But after transforming into a Super Saiyan, her special attack firepower skyrockets. So, uh, what does it say right here? Uh, in this issue, we'll cover these young Saiyans with bright futures ahead of them. We'll explore uh, a little little typo there. Uh, everything from the foundation of the new, this new generation to their unique traits from the source material. So she does have a confirmation crush cannon. Um, I don't know what exactly she, if that's crush cannon up there or if that's um double crush i don't know the xenoverse 2 kind of didn't make up moves but like gave gave him like really cool names or whatever um that looks like super saiyan 2 just because it could, it could just because of the hair physics how it's like flying up but i can definitely see she's got one bang here and i think cauliflower and super saiyan 2 normally has like one bang and then maybe like one on the side but, uh, yeah, that looks like Super Saiyan 2. Um, I saw some people saying that uh, Cauliflower looks kind of weird. Uh, yeah, she does look a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie. Just a little bit. I mean, all of them kind of, like, Trunks just a little bit kind of looks weird. Especially right here. He looked kind of freaky. Like, his eyes. I don't know. Something about it is, like, it's throwing me off. It doesn't look bad, necessarily. They just look a little bit odd. 
But maybe it's just because I'm not used to seeing, you know, these characters in this specific style uh, for Tenkaichi. But I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna, you know, criticize it all that much. You know, I think they look good overall. Um, <laughs> Cauliflower's head is huge. Like their their eyes, their the actual facial features are really big on them. And I understand, you know, they're young. You know, that's supposed to be a more youthful appearance generally uh, with these characters, but. I don't know. It, it could just be the scan quality and everything. That will definitely affect how odd it'll look or whatever, but we'll see whenever the game actually drops. Um, let me see here. Is there anything that I'm missing? I think I got pretty much everything. Playable characters, Volume 4, New Generation Saiyans. Yeah, for the most part, I mean, they didn't really specify too much details on Caulifla. Uh, they just say her special attack, firepower, skyrockets. That's it. <laughs> uh, obviously, uh, Fusion. Fusion mechanic is back. Notice if two specific characters are on your team, Super Ghost Kamikaze attack for Go Tanks. Uh, I think that was supposed to specify that they can fuse, okay? Like in the original games, okay? Um, if you have Go Ten and Trunks on the team, you can do the fusion. Kale Cauliflower, most likely Goku and Vegeta. Uh, I don't know if they would. I doubt. No, they're not going to show Go uh, Gogeta and Vegeta in this next trailer, okay? Again, the focus on this is. New generation Saiyans, okay? So don't expect Gogeta and Vegito, right? This is supposed to be mainly the this new, younger generation of Saiyans, okay? Uh, let's see here. So that is confirmed. Ghost Kamikaze, uh, Gigantic Burst. That is the official name for it. Uh, become even more powerful with Fusion. Fusion with the Patara is also possible. Overwhelm foes with explosive power. They'll probably have it as kind of like a transformation type of thing, uh, I, I would assume, uh, which, you know, is great. Now, this right here, uh, a lot of talk on this potentially being the character select screen. Um, it could be. I doubt it. I think it's more of the uh, finalized screen after you already select your characters. Uh, but this is mainly, it says right here, the first visual for the team edit screen. So, I say let's just let's wait until we see an actual character select. Not this. This is specifically saying it's just the team edit for team battles. Okay? You'll be able to play in five on five team battles. This was something that was originally in the, you know, OG Tenkaichi and I think in Raging Blast as well. Uh, it's not really like 5v5 battle royale at the same time, like all on screen. That's not what it is. It's more of, oh, you can like switch between the characters. It's a team battle thing. It's just 1v1, but you switch between them. Uh, maybe they'll implement a Tenkaichi tag team type of thing. I don't know. They, they haven't really, you know, clarified that, but, uh, Select from a wide range of warriors to create uh, your very own team. Uh, you can see right there, it has uh, five slots or whatever. And uh, I do like this screen here because it does show the actual character models. And they're probably going to have like, this is like the squad up in Fortnite. All right, this is it. The Fortnite uh, lobby screen. That's what it kind of reminds me of or whatever. I've been, I've been playing too. I haven't actually been playing that much Fortnite, but like recently when i got into it because of dragon ball collabs but yeah um yeah i like this uh, it'll also probably uh, most likely allow us to see what costume y you actually pick okay in the original games it, you would just choose it and you you would have no idea exactly which one it was unless you memorized it right uh seize victory in 5v5 battles uh the fighters you select will gather on this screen it's easy to know the characters selected with the upper left profile icons again don't think this is a complete character select screen if it was it would have shown uh at least like a rotation or certain slots or all of the slots um you know so that you could actually choose them so i think you would have to go in there add a character and then it would change the screen to the actual character select screen that's my theory i could be wrong but uh we'll see i think we got everything guys i know that was a lot longer than it really needed to be but i i like to talk i like to yap a lot um and just give my opinions on certain things but everything's looking really solid so far uh i did see some people say that uh there were not a lot of characters in this one uh in previous scans there have been at least two pages this one only had one and i I can tell you most likely the reason for that being is because this is right before Summer Game Fest, okay? And they're probably going to have a way bigger announcement that they're saving for Summer Game Fest or whatever. Um, this month, they, we still most likely should be getting a trailer probably within the next couple of weeks before the month ends. And it'll probably just be the focus on these characters. I would not expect any other characters 
than what has been shown here. Four characters with their respective transformations and then the fusions, so that's two extra characters. That's what I'm going to say is easily 100% going to be in the trailer, and I don't think there's going to be anything else in there. So don't expect Kaba or whatever. If they do show it, great. I'm down for it. I love Kaba. But um, they usually don't show anything extra other than what has already been shown in the scans themselves. Does that make sense? Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, ring my notification bell. Go support uh, Shonen Games, Ryu, as well as the homie DBS Hype for providing these scans. I hope you guys all have an amazing, blessed day. Uh, stay safe. And uh, yeah, don't forget, guys. Subscribe. Ring that notification bell. Drop a like for me. It helps out the channel tremendously. Love y'all. Peace. <laughs> This is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays! Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet! <laughs>